symbolizes not only their new home together, but having no sides is also representative of the openness in their lives. The patriarch of our communal faiths, Abraham, 
is said to have had openings on all sides of his tent in order to receive visitors from any direction. May Frank and Kaidi be as welcoming as Abraham. Kaidi and Frank have asked us to be a part of this celebration for their love for each other. And it is with great joy and reverence that we all take part. They seek to continue the commitment which does not begin today, but which began in wonder some time ago when they found love in each other. There are many stages and kinds of commitment among persons in our culture, but this one is the deepest, the most sacred, that comes out of the clear choice of two people. It is said that love is the communication of the good life. When we find a person who communicates the good life to us, and whose answering resonance tells us that we have been sharing something significant together, then we may make the decision to continue sharing permanently. Kaidi and Frank have found, found much to share and much to enrich their lives together. At a wedding, there is only one focus, being happy for the groom and the bride. That is the purpose of the wedding party, and that is the commandment to attend. A wedding is an exercise in being happy, proud, and having pleasure from our friends. At a wedding, we all empower the young couple to take on life together. They can get through the big challenges because we are all rooting for them. The wedding ceremony marks the beginning of a couple's life together. Kaidi and Frank are not, Frank are not only prepared for the material aspects of married life, but are focused as well on ensuring their spiritual and moral readiness for the future. Our oral tradition directs, a man should love his wife as much as he loves himself and honor her more than himself. Out of two different and distinct traditions, they have come together to learn the best of what each has to offer, appreciating their differences and confirming that being together is far better than being apart from each other. We bless this marriage under the chuppah, the Jewish symbol of the new home being created here. Let us pray. Baruchim habayim b'shem Adonai, blessed are all those gathered here in the name of God. Avinu Malkeinu, our Father, our King, we hope and pray that Frank and Kaidi will use their love creatively, working toward personal and social change in the world. May they both openly give and take from each other, sharing in each other's joys and encouraging each other throughout all that their lives bring. We hope that you, Lord, will continue to enable them to find in each other the resources that will nurture their marriage. May you be granted a home filled with warmth, health, and love. Having grown to trust yourselves and each other, Frank and Kaidi, we pray that you be unafraid to trust and welcome life. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shehecheyanu, Vekiyamanu, Vehigiyanu, Lazman Hazeh, Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us life, sustained us, and permitted us to celebrate this joyous occasion. And let us all say, Amen. My name is Rabbi Jeffrey Feinstein, and there is no one who is more honored to be here today than I am. There are two people who are more nervous, but not more honored. When Kaidi and Frank asked, contacted me and asked if I would preside today, the feeling of honor was only overshadowed by my joy. Kaidi and Frank and I have known each other for only a little while. In working with them to prepare for this celebration of their love, I know that they have found in each other that which makes each of them whole. When Kaidi and Frank asked if I would agree to perform this ceremony today, I wondered, as I always do, when people of different faiths decide to get married, what was so strong in Frank that he wanted a Jewish ceremony? And what was so accepting in Kaidi to allow her to stand here in front of a rabbi? 
However, I know how committed they are to each other and to respecting each other's heritage and feelings. I began to think about what I would say to Funk and Kaidi on this day. Then I realized that they had already said it when they asked me to do this service. Kaidi and Funk said to me, help us complete the circle of our love by presiding at our wedding. I am at the same time humbled and very honored to officiate at the wedding of these two wonderful people and I thank you both for this honor. Two thoughts are suggested by this cup of wine. The first is that wine is a symbol of the sweetness we wish for your lives. There will be times when you drink from other cups, bitter ones, but life more often offers an opportunity to savor sweetness. The awareness of the possibility of a life filled with true meaning is what we toast, the good that is life. The second is that wine is a symbol of sharing. You two have shared a long time together, and out of this time together has grown the love which brought you to this day. As you continue to share in each other's lives, you will, as a symbol of this enduring cooperation, share this cup of wine. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei pri hagafen. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who created the fruit of the vine. It's okay if you want to get closer to Kaidi. It's, it's perfectly acceptable. I now ask all of you to rise and affirm your pledge by responding to the following two questions. Please rise. Please remember the correct and only answer is we will. Will all of you who are family and friends of Kaidi and Frank affirm your continuing support and love of them in their marriage? Will you offer them your wisdom and encouragement in their times of struggle and your celebration with them in their times of joy? Yeah. Please be seated. We praise you, our God, ruler of the universe, who consecrates this marriage. We praise you, O God, who sanctifies all people through the sacred rite of marriage at the chuppah. Kadi and Frank, the union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given each other in prosperity as well as adversity. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently and deliberately. With this in mind, I ask you to declare your intentions. Kaidi and Frank, have you come here freely and without reservations to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. yes. Kaidi and Frank, then now is the time to affirm your love and commitment by exchanging your vows. In discussing the exchange of vows with Frank and Kaidi, they knew that they would be nervous, and instead of writing their own vows, desired a more traditional recitation. If you wanted tradition, you should have asked someone else. Listen. Kaidi, do you promise to love, honor, and cherish Frank? in times of hardship and in times of happiness? And do you pledge your fidelity as a token of love and honor? I do. Frank, do you promise that in times of trouble you will be patient with Kaidi and with yourself? In times of joy, do you promise to try to help Kaidi experience happiness to the fullest? I do. Kaidi, do you promise to always be supportive of Frank's values and to help live a life of which you both can be proud? Do you pledge to assess the direction of your lives at intervals and to take care that your vocations, avocations, and way of life are consonant with each other? I do. Frank, do you promise to maintain the ties of family and friendship? Do you promise? 
to treasure the old relationships with friends and family and to welcome new ones. Do you promise to treat Kaidi with respect and to listen to her, especially when you do not like what you hear? And do you promise to try to make your relationship a role model for future generations? May God grant you the strength to keep all of the pledges you have made today. I ask you now facing each other, do you both promise to try to give each other the courage to reach for your highest aspirations? Frank and Kaidi, now speak the words and exchange the rings that make you husband and wife. Frank, as you place the ring on the finger of the one you love, recite the words that unite you in marriage. In Hebrew they are Ani Lododi, Ani Lododi, Vidodi Li, Vidodi Li. But in English they are just as beautiful. I am my beloved's. I am my beloved. And my beloved is mine. And my beloved is mine. Kaidi, as you place the ring on the finger of the one you love, recite the words that unite you in marriage. In Hebrew, they are ze dodi, ze dodi, vaze rei, vaze rei. But again, in English, their beauty is not diminished. Here is my beloved. Here is my beloved. And here is my friend. We have all witnessed your exchange of vows. Yet words are fleeting and the sound of them will soon be gone. Therefore the wedding rings become enduring symbols of the promises you have made to each other. The wedding rings are regarded as fitting symbols of marriage for they are fashioned to have neither beginning nor end. The wedding rings are outward and visible symbols of your inner spiritual bond. Baruch ata Adonai Mekadesh Amo Yisrael Al Yidei Chupa V'Kidushin We praise you God who hallows us through this sacred rite at the Chupa. There are seven traditional wedding blessings. Each praises God for all the wonders he has bestowed on us and continues to give us every moment of every day. Kadi and Frank have asked members of their wedding party to have the honor of translating these blessings. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shehakol baralich vodo Blessed are you, God, in the universe, to be the light of these human beings. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Yotzeh ha'adam. Who has number three? Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher yatzar et ha'adam b'tzalmo, B'tzalem dimut avnito, V'hitkin lo mimenu minyan adeyad. Baruch atah Adonai, Yotzeh ha'adam. Number four. So sta sis fatagil akara biki boots beneha letocha besimcha baruch ata donai misameach sion bevaneha. Blessed are you, God, who makes the hearts of this couple for 
Sameach te samach raim Ahovim Kesameach acha yitzurcha began eden mikadem Baruch ata Adonai Mesameach atan Vekala Blessed are you God, King of the universe That's Life. the wrong one, excuse me we have, uh, you, that was six, we need number five? You just read five? I, I misheard you, it was the wrong translation. I'll translate this one. Blessed are you God, source of all gladness and joy. Through your grace we attain affection, companionship, and peace. Grant that the love that unites this bridegroom and this bride may gladden their souls. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher baras hason v'simcha Chatan v'kala Asher baras hason v'simcha Chatan v'kala Gila rina di hitza V'chen v'ahava v'yachava V'shalom v'reut Mehera Adonai Eloheinu Yishama Yare Yehuda Uvchutzot Yerushalayim Kol Sasson Vekol Simcha Kol Chatan Vekol Kahala Kol Nitzalot Chatanim Vechupatam Unearim Imishteh Neginatam Baruch ata Adonai, Nesameach atan, Im hakala. Blessed are you, God, King of the universe, who lights the world with happiness and contentment, love and companionship, peace and friendship, bridegroom and bride. Let the mountains of Israel dance, let the gates of Jerusalem ring, with the sounds of joy, the song of merriment, uh, song of merriment and the delight, the voice of the groom and the voice of the bride, the happy shouts of the friends of the blessed God who brings bride and groom together to rejoice each other. Blessed are you, God, King of the universe, who brings forth fruit from the vine. Get over here. Try and cheer up, Cuddy. <laughs> Piketuba is a legal document which we signed earlier. It used to be customary to write it in Aramaic, which was the lingua franca of the time, and this was done so that it would be clearly understood. It is a contract which states the responsibilities of the groom to and for the bride. Kadi and Frank have granted me the honor of reading this most important document, but symbolically I will hand it to Frank, who in turn will give it to his bride, who will then give it back to me. <laughs> it's yours, Kadi, not mine. <clears throat> On the sixth day of the week, the 27th day of Tammuz in the year 5777, corresponding to the 21st day of July in the year 2017, here in Ackworth, Georgia, the bride, Kaidi Louise Velazquez, daughter of Louis and Leslie Suzanne Velazquez, and the groom, Frank Davidoff, son of Zorik Khanukovich Davidoff, and Zoya Isakovna Yakubova, came together before family and friends to affirm their commitment to each other as husband and wife, partners in marriage. Our lives are now forever intertwined. Our similarities will bind us. Our differences will enrich us. And our love will define us. We will celebrate all of the passages of life together with joy and reverence. In times of happiness, we will cherish each other. And in times of trouble, we will protect each other. 
We promise to be faithful partners to honor each other, to share our hopes and dreams. Together we will create a home where both our traditions are celebrated with honor and where the values of our families are nurtured and passed on to our children. We willingly enter into this covenant of companionship and love. From this day forward, we are as one. May my heart be your shelter and my arms be your home. Your friends and family, all of us here rejoice in your happiness and we pray that this day marks only one of many more blessings you will share in the days and years ahead. I ask that you allow me to grant one final blessing upon you from the Eternal One through me. Please come forward. Yair Adonai Ponavilecha Vichunecha, Yisa Adonai Ponavilecha, Yasem Lecha, Shalom. May God bless you and keep you. May God's presence shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God's presence be with you, and may he who reigns supreme in all the world grant you his most precious gift, peace. Peace in your hearts and in your home. And let us all say, Amen. Amen. And now that you have spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives, we and I, now by the power of your love and the commitment you have made, and the power vested in me by the state of Georgia and as a rabbi in Israel, declare your marriage to be valid and binding, and declare you, Frank, and you, Kaidi, to be husband and wife. In the presence of these friends and relatives, I ask you to seal your vows with a kiss. There is a time-honored custom of breaking the glass following the final blessing. Some say this is done to symbolize the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem. Some say it is done to temper our joy. Frank, I want to share with you the real reason for this custom. Kaidi is a strong, intelligent woman. Please remember that in your arguments, and there will be some during your marriage, she will have the final say. Anything you say after that will be the beginning of a new argument. So I wanted to give you at least one last chance to put your foot down. It is customary to shout Mazel Tov, meaning good luck, as the glass is broken. Yep. Mazel tov. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have the honor to present to you. Okay, let's try it again. Stomp on it. There you go. Mazel tov. Maybe I should have asked Katie to step on it. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have the honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Frank Davidoff husband and wife and I ask you if you are family please remain here for photographs guests please venture upstairs where it is blessedly cooler to prepare for the reception we'll go inside.